Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for the Panners Pan. The Panners Pan is a project that was created by Elizabeth who is Shiny Happy Pans over on Instagram. She's a good friend of mine. She comes up with a lot of great project pan ideas and I always uh, am included in them because she likes to bounce her ideas off of me and I'm really grateful because I love doing her projects. But the idea behind this project was to link a product to a project panner we love and then pan that product, set whatever goal we want to and pan that product. And um, it's rolling and it never ends, ever, according to Elizabeth. I, of course, made this more complicated by making it a progressive. So every month, regardless of whether I meet my goal on a product or not, I am rolling in a new product for a new project panner, which means, hang on, let me tell you what it means which means we have been working with about 24 products every month in this project. I'm happy to report that the number is not going up today. It's not going down either, but it's not going up because I did meet my goal on one item in this project. There are several items that I am close to meeting my goal on, but unfortunately for this month, I only met my goal on one of them, but I'm relieved to report that the number therefore is not going up. So we will still be at 24 for another month. Because there are so many items in this project, I try to pick three focus items to really zero in on throughout the month. And sometimes that works out, sometimes it doesn't. My goals are always loftier than the reality in my life. Like I have big plans for myself in project panning. It doesn't always work out that way, but I still set the goals. <laughs> The goals are there. Whether I meet them or not is another question. So um, let's go over those three items first because the goal I met was one of the focus products. So that's a relief. Um, the item that I met my goal on, which was one of the three focus products, is my highlighter from Wet n Wild and Blossom Glow. I put this highlighter into this project for Sandra, who is Highlights the Limit. I've Thought, of course I have to do a highlighter for Sandra because her name is Highlights the Limit and my goal was to hit pan on this beautiful highlighter and as you can see I did it's up here I really focused my brush up there I was not ready to destroy the gorgeous like floral botanical print on that pan I just loved it so much but I just targeted my brush there I use this as a face highlight every single day this is a really good color this color the shade works very well on my skin tone with my uh, coloring, and I liked it very much. Um, I was sorry to stop using it, but I do have several highlighters in this project, so I was relieved and sad at the same time. But I did meet my goal on this, and it is rolling out of this project. For now, I don't have plans to put this in another project, but this was a product I had never even used before putting it in this project. Now I'm familiar with it and I'm happy and I'm looking forward to using this again in the future. I don't know when that will be, but whenever the time arrives that I can enjoy this again, I will be very happy. So yeah, it's a good highlighter for me and my skin tone. The next product I'd like to talk about from my three focus items is this lip gloss. This lip gloss is Curvy 2 from ColourPop. I have this in here for Chic Geek. Um, this was sitting in my bathroom for several months and while it was sitting in my bathroom like this, it settled and it seemed like the fill line was down here. And I was like, I think I could finish this by the end of the year. I was wrong. And unfortunately, because I moved this to my purse, the fill line is gone. It just looks completely full again. This, this lip gloss really plays me because Anytime I put it in my purse, I can't see any progress. Like whatever gaps or whatever I could see when it's sitting up for a couple days disappear. And this doesn't settle quickly. So I, I could have this sitting up for like five hours and it never settles. It has to sit up for days for it to finally settle. But I've definitely increased my usage on this. I moved this to my purse and I was applying it during work quite a bit. I, I haven't taken out the stopper yet. I was waiting for the brush to be a little bit emptier before I took out the stopper. I know a lot of people do not like removing the stoppers from lip glosses because it can get really messy. My only advice is for me personally, I do take out the stoppers often in lip glosses, but first of all, I try to get every I get everything off the wand that I can get before I take out the stopper. If there's any product in there that I can reach 
with the stopper in, I want to get it out. But also once I take the stopper out, this no longer can go in my purse. It has to stay in the bathroom because it does get kind of gross and leaky once you take the stopper out. So I just want it sitting upright in my bathroom in a very controlled environment, not in my purse where it can leak all over my purse and get everywhere. So um, the stopper is still in it. I am still working on it. I don't know how much product is left. But like I said, the fill line was like down here at last month's and I've been using it almost daily since last month's update. So I don't know. We'll see. There's probably a couple more months left of product in there. I don't know why I thought I could finish this by December 31st. I lie to myself like a rug. And similarly, the third product from my three focus products was another product. For some reason, I thought I could finish by December 31st and I did not. <laughs> This is my NARS Rakugian pencil. I have this in here for Rebecca S. It is just about time to sharpen it again. So I did use it. I just didn't finish it. Nowhere near. What was I thinking? I don't know. I didn't even make a new mark. Hold on. Let me make a new mark. There's really not that much progress. I don't know why I thought I was going to kill it on this. There's just little progress. Hang on. Yeah, I did not do very well on this over the past month. That is my little progress line right there. I mean, I'm glad I made progress, but it's not much. And it's nowhere near to the point of finishing off this pencil. I had a really good month last month, and I guess it gave me some false encouragement that I could just pan lipsticks like it's nobody's business. Like I am Rebecca S., which I am not, because Rebecca S. can certainly pan some lipsticks. But um, this this will be gone one day eventually, but today is not the day. All right, so let's take it from the top. I'll show you the remaining products that I have in this project. There's 21 other items, well, 20 other items. And then I will talk about what product I'm rolling in and who it's for. And then I will show you what my top three focus products are gonna be for this next coming month. The first product rolling over is my BFF lip liner from ColourPop. I have this in here for Elizabeth, who is Shiny Happy Pans. I was able to make a new mark. All my marks on this pencil throughout this year have been very, very teeny tiny. I don't make a lot of progress, but collectively, over many years, I do have progress. So I'm like the tortoise man, slow and steady. I will get there eventually. I don't love that lip liner. The formula of the ColourPop lip liners is great. The shade is just kind of a little too neutral. If it had a little bit more peach in it, if it had a little bit more pink in it, it would be so much more wearable for me. But because it's so neutral, I don't reach for it very often. But I, I'm gonna keep at it. I'm not gonna throw it away. Because we all know I don't throw anything away. That's not going to happen. All right. We already talked about my lip gloss. Next is my little halo eyeshadow from Luxie Beauty. I have this in here for Alex, who is AKA Alejandra Lissette. I really need to make this a focus item again because I know if I panned a look with this eyeshadow, it would be gone in no time. And I need to do that. My goal is just to hit pan on it, not to finish it. But yeah, I think uh, January might be the month for this guy where I finally decide to go for it because I this has been in this project a really, really long time and I haven't used it nearly as much as I should. I would at least like to see like a massive dip in it, something. But I've gotten good at panning looks and I need to make a look with this in it and I'll it'll be so much easier. It'll Things will start moving. For Rebecca Morgan and Jocelyn Claire, I have my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Fool's Gold. Still going strong. Not going anywhere. For Alexi, I have my eyeliner from Jante Blue and Electric Blue. I did use this several times over the past month, but I wasn't able to make a new mark for whatever reason. But again, if you look at how much progress I've made over the years that I've been doing this project, it is smaller than it was, which is about the only thing I can say about this pencil. Okay, next for Linda from Linda Loves Life, I have my big old tube of lip gloss from Lancome in the shade Desert. I did make some good progress over this. I am using this quite often at night before I go to bed as like a lip gloss. This is a very, um, this lip gloss tends to really almost treat my lips the way a lip balm would. And this nude color is 
a shade that I feel comfortable just wearing to bed. I know it seems strange to wear color product on my lips to bed, but it's a good gloss and uh, it's it, like I, I wake up in the morning and I can still feel it on my lips and I like that. So I'm at about the halfway point now. I've definitely made some good progress, but my goal is to finish this. So I still have a really, really long way to go on this, but I have been using it and I have been enjoying it. For Rania, I have my second highlighter that's in this project. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Don't Flutter Yourself. And this has kind of been my go-to since I hit pan on that other first Wet n Wild, first Wet n Wild highlighter. And my goal for this highlighter is to make the hummingbird disappear to wear him off. He had a beautiful hummingbird imprint. I actually ran across the picture of what this hummingbird looked like when I brought it into this pan, into this project. And I was amazed by how clear that hummingbird was. Now I can, I still feel like I can still see it, but this has been the highlighter I've pretty much been wearing every single day since hitting pan on that Blossom Glow. And if I kind of feel like maybe this could be rolling out by next month if I keep it up at the rate that I have been using it, which is basically daily. He's definitely a little bit harder to see than he was at last month, I think. But like I said, I've been using this every day for a couple of weeks now. I've really been enjoying it. Even in the winter, I feel like this highlighter still works for me. I don't know how, because it seems like it would be way too dark for me, but I feel like I can still pull it off even in the winter, which is crazy. For Christina Chang, I have my lipstick in Warm Me Up. This is a beautiful, beautiful lipstick that is very, very flattering on me, but I have not worn it. I don't think I wore it at all this past month. I just didn't reach for this at all. No progress to make. I love this lipstick, but I've been focusing on a Bare Minerals lipstick sample, NARS Rakugian and Curvy, like all month long. That's been it. And like lipsticks I have in Project 10 uses. Okay, next is my My Little Pony in collaboration with ColourPop palette. I have two pans I'm trying to hit in this palette for two different project panners. I didn't reach for this at all. The first one is this one right here for Beth from Beth's Makeup Diary. And the next one is this one, which is the shade Starshine, no, Blossom. Blossom that I have in here for Courtney, who is Triggy 3. Um, I'm very motivated to get back to the shade. I love these kind of pinky mauve shades. You guys know that dusty pinks are my favorite and I'm very motivated to get back to this. I've been kind of married to panning a couple of looks over the last, I feel all year long. I've just been panning looks and it didn't include this one, but I'm ready to get back to this. I hope I can. I have a, a start of a dip on this shade. This shade basically looks brand new, but I have a start of a dip on this shade. And I think if I, um, zero in on it, I could hit pan. This is also just the kind of shade that I love to wear in the month of January. There's something about the second January rolls around. I just wanna wear like pinky mauve shades every day. I don't know what it is, but I love that shade in the month of January. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I wish I could predict the future, but I'm very motivated to get back to this palette and to find a look to pan with this palette soon. Okay. The final highlighter that has been kicking around in this project for quite a while is this one right here. This is the Purple Ashes highlighter from Wet n Wild. They're all Wet n Wild highlighters. They're all like little triplets. And this is in here for Kana. And um, again, my goal is to hit pan. And I didn't touch this at all this past month because I went straight from Blossom Glow to Don't Flutter Yourself. But if over the next month, I feel like I've met my goal on this Don't Flutter Yourself, I will move right into this Blossom, this Purple Ashes highlighter. Okie dokie, some more palettes I basically did not touch over the past month. I have my Master by Mario palette with ABH. This is in here for Chanrel from Chanrel Stash. My goal is to hit pan on this shade here called Isabel. And I don't think I used this at all in the past month. Same thing for my Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place palette. My goal is to hit pan on this shade here called Shebo, which is in here for Tori. Um, don't think I've used that at all in the past month. Next is a blush. This is one of only a couple blushes I've been working on for the last couple months. This is the American Beauty blush in the shade Rose, Rose Shimmer. And I have this in this project for Rose. And I probably use this half of the month. I 
have been really feeling a peachy blush. And so I've been wearing a lot of Milani's Luminoso, which I had in another project. I'm actually wearing that blush today. But um, I have worn this quite a bit. My goal is to hit pan on this. And I still feel like I'm a long ways away. But again, when I think back to where this looked when I rolled it in, I know I'm making progress. I know I'm slowly getting there. This will this is a long hauler though. This is gonna be in here probably for the remainder of this project, however long that should be. For Tanya, who is a reverent beauty, I have my Marc Jacobs uh, lip lipstick, lip gloss stick, whatever it's called. I cannot tell how much of this I've used. I cannot tell how much I've left, but I feel like I'm getting there. I've been reaching for this a lot. This is another perfect winter product. It protects my lips. It stays on for hours and hours and hours. I was recently watching some video where somebody was just pooping all over this product and I was like, oh, this is like the best. I don't know. I, I guess I could understand that for the money, it's not really worth it, but I love this product. And if Marc Jacobs does come back around like they say they will, at least the last I heard, they said they were coming back around. I would love to own more of these. I hope they bring this product back and I want to buy more because I love it. I don't like the fact that I can't tell how much product is left. But other than that, I absolutely love it. But I feel like it's one of those products, you know, one of those lipsticks where obviously the product is moving up. And I feel like all the weight is at the top up here. I feel like it's very empty, like right here. I don't know though, we'll see. I'll be as surprised as you guys are when I use this up, but I'm so glad I've been working on it. I just love it. It's a great product. Love it for the winter. Love it for every season. I just love that lipstick, and I hope Marc Jacobs brings those back when they come back. For Metropolitan Creole, I have my Candy Venom lipstick from Fenty Beauty. I put a usage goal on this because this is a very bold shade. It's a the hottest pink I've ever owned in my life. It is gorgeous, but it's not for everyday wear in my life. So I only wanted to use it 20 times and I am at 10, which I think is where I was at last month. So I don't think I've used this at all in the past month. Like I said, I've just been painting the same couple of lip products day in and day out. Um, I wish I would have gotten some uses in on this, but it hasn't happened yet. Another usage goal is for this eye base that I put from Stila in the shade Amber. This is in here for Jessica, AKA Lena 767623. And my usage goal for this is 30 uses and I am up to eight uses. I've used this eye base several times over the past month. Uh, I actually was having a hard time getting to the bottom of the pot. So I kind of pushed all the product to the side so that it was just a little bit more accessible. So now rather than like digging my finger straight down, I'm kind of like accessing the product from the side. That's been working a lot better for me. Um, it would have been nice to like see myself naturally hit pan on this, but it was just too hard to use it, especially since I prefer to apply this with my finger. But I'm at eight uses, so I have 22 more uses to go on this before it rolls out of this project. This is a love. I've had this for so long. My brother's like ex, ex, ex girlfriend bought me this for Christmas one year. So like he's been married for like 10 years and this is like two girlfriends before that. But um, I wish Stila still made this product because it is a really, really good color and it's a really good eye base. I love it so much. I'm going to be sad to see it go, but I feel like I need to use up every drop of that product because it is that good. Okay, we are getting there. Next is Verity. Verity uh, is also known as Red Dirt and Stardust. And for her, I brought in my Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. My goal is to hit pan on this shade down here called Acoustic. I don't know if I reached for that shade at all in the past month. I like to use that shade as an inner corner highlight. And I've been using a... Um, Teal blue as an inner corner highlight for months now. I'm actually not using it as an inner corner highlight today, but I didn't reach for this today either. Um, hopefully now in the new year, I will get back to using this more consistently. But yeah, I just haven't reached for this much. I only need one shadow for an inner corner highlight. And since I started focusing in on that teal blue, that's been my focus. I'm happy to report I did finally hit pan on that. So we will be talking about that in my pan and every palette update very soon. 
but yeah, um, until I hit pan on that teal blue, I wasn't using anything else. For Taru, who is cruelty-free panner, I have my liquid lipstick. The liquid lipstick is Max Factor. The lip balm is CoverGirl. Don't ask me how that happened. I can't explain it. But my goal is to use one of these up. And whichever one I use up first means it rolls out of this project. Um, unfortunately, I just haven't been reaching for this. I still have quite a bit of the balm left. Probably about the same as I had last month. I really don't know if I've used this at all. January is a good month to use this. This color is more wearable than I thought it would be. I'm happy to report. But it is still a very cool toned lip color. And um, it's winter. So now's the time to enjoy this kind of cool tone shade. Hopefully I can get some more use out of this in January. I feel like I've dropped the ball on this this past fall and the start of winter. But winter's just getting started. So I could still get a lot of use on this in theory, but as per usual, I've been focusing on just a few lip products and it hasn't been this. For Kat from Kitchnitch, I have my Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette. I am still at three for this. I have a no pan left behind challenge with this palette for this project, meaning nine looks for the nine different shades in this palette. And I didn't touch this at all in the past month. So I'm still at three looks done. For Jay, Jaylon, I have my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I've been using this every day that I do makeup. I use it as an under eye setting powder. I don't know if I love this as much as I once did, but it's still good. Sometimes I have to be careful about how I apply it. Sometimes if I over apply it, I look a little crepey and a little crinkly under my eyes. So I have to be very careful. I do like to apply it with a damp beauty blender or damp beauty sponge, but... Um, I do use this every single day and do I have progress? And I definitely have progress. I, I didn't even make a mark last month. I gotta do that. The nail polish bottles are so far away though. The, the mark that I would have made for last month is about equal to the red marks. It would have been right about here. And now my fill line is right about here. So it's pretty even from month to month. But I love this and I'm glad to be using it. I feel like there's still a lot of product in here. It's probably going to take half a year for me to get through the remainder of this. But I'm glad to be using it. Um and just kind of getting through some of the products that I own. I, I have a lot of powders and I really don't know all of them very well. I still haven't really figured out which powders are best used as under eye setting powders, which powders are best used as all over face powders, like blotting powders, which powders could be used as a foundation or which are more like setting. I still have so much to figure out about the powders I own, but this I know I prefer to use as an under eye setting powder. And so I'm happy to be using it up that way. And the final product rolling over is my little Lancome Juicy Shaker. This just rolled in at last month's update for Danny from Danny's Makeup. And this rolled in in honor of her happy hour project that she co-created with Deb. And my goal is to finish this. It is moving slowly. This was in my uh, graveyard project pan. And you could see the kind of progress I was making based on these blue lines. Those were updates every two months. So that was two months worth of progress for each line. But just over this past month, I was able to make a little bit of progress. Not much, just a little, just a teens. But I have still been using this. I enjoy it. It's not quite heavy enough for the winter months. I need something with a little bit more <sighs> stick to it. This is like a slippery oil and it disappears really quickly. I need something that's really gonna cling to my lips, like the Marc Jacobs lip gloss, like the Lancome lip gloss. This is not really doing it for me in the winter time, but if I'm gonna be home all day, I might apply this because I know I can reapply and I'm home anyways. So like over this winter break, I've been using this as much as possible because I can reapply as many times as I want because I'm not going anywhere, I'm home. All right, now is the time I roll in a new product for a new project panner. It is getting trickier. I do still have a couple of project panners up my sleeve. Not every project panner has a clear product that jumps out to me. And that's part of the problem is 
I'm looking for a product to link to that project panner. And there are several project panners who I would love to talk about, but there's just no product that comes to mind for them. That's okay. Something will come up eventually. I will think of something eventually. But the project panner I'd like to talk about for this month is somebody who for a long time, I didn't consider to be a project panner at all. And I don't know if she considered herself to be a project panner either, but she is a project painter. She's legit. She's way better of a project painter than I am. But the person I'm talking about is Amber, Amber M. She does not have a YouTube channel. She posts pictures and videos on her Instagram account. So I will have her link down below along with everybody else I've ever spoken about in this project. But Amber M., um, has become a good friend of mine. I talk with her very regularly. Like I said, I originally considered her to be more of a makeup enthusiast than anything else. She loves makeup. She loves buying makeup. She loves using makeup. And I kind of considered her to be part of this non-project panner makeup enthusiast category. And I think because she is friends with Elizabeth, who is shiny happy pans, as well as myself, I think Elizabeth kind of roped her into project panning and now Amber's a legit project panner. And I was like, I really need to shout her out because she can project pan way better than me. She gets through some stuff, especially lipsticks. Amber can pan lipsticks like nobody's business. I've never seen, I mean, she's right up there with panning lipsticks like Rebecca S. I mean like top tier lipstick panner, reapplying faithfully getting through products like nobody's business. Amber can pan some lipsticks. But I didn't bring in a lipstick for Amber. What I decided to bring in was a Charlotte Tilbury product because Amber is also an expert in anything and everything Charlotte Tilbury. She knows Charlotte Tilbury so well. If I ever have any questions about a Charlotte Tilbury product, Amber is the person I go to because she knows those products inside and out. I don't own a lot of Charlotte Tilbury. There's several products I would love to own one day but I don't own a lot. But what I do own from Charlotte Tilbury is two of these beauty light wands. One is a blush and one is a highlighter. And I decided to bring in this highlighter for Amber M. It is the easy highlighter in the shade Spotlight. And I've used it a few times, once, twice. I don't, I don't think I had it in Project 10 uses. Maybe I did, but oh, nope, I haven't used it at all. It's brand new. Never mind. I lie like a rug. I used the blush. I think I had the blush in Project 10 uses, but I've never used this highlighter at all. But this is a deluxe sample. It came as part of a holiday gift set, meaning it's not full size. It has 0.16 fluid ounces of product. And I would like to use this and enjoy it this year. I have been panning a solid cream highlighter for the entire year um, and that is my e.l.f. shimmer palette. I'm very close to finishing that. I only have one shade left. I've gone through three out. Of, I've used up three of the four shades in that palette and I have one shade left and uh, I'm, I'm ready to switch it up. So I might be painting other highlighters throughout the year as well, including finishing up that shimmer palette, but I'd like to get going on this and start using it and enjoying it and maybe switching up my cream highlighter products from day to day. Um, sometimes I, when it comes to a category of products, I just want to zero in on them and focus on one thing and get through it. And other times I like to kind of rotate between two or three different products to keep it to keep some variety in my routine. So I am bringing this in for Amber M because she is my Charlotte Tilbury expert. All right, time to pick out my three focus products for the next month. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I've picked out my three focus products for the month. First of all, I'm gonna roll over this lip gloss from ColourPop. Even though I cannot see any progress in this, I have been focused in on this. I do want to use it up. I want it out of my inventory. I want it out of this project. And even though I can't tell, I, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer. So this is going to stay in. My goal for this next month is to get to the point where I can take the stopper out, to use up enough product so that the stopper is out. I don't know if that's going to be possible or not, but that's kind of the goal that I'm going to set for myself. I don't know. The next focus product is going to be these lipsticks for Taru. Like I said, I feel like January is the month to really get going on this. And uh, yeah, 
I don't know how often I'll reach for this, but the more the merrier. The more I can get out of this, the better. I would love to make a good dent on that lip balm during the month of January. And the final focus product is going to be the shade Halo from Luxie Beauty. I keep it in this little tiny Z palette. This is the smallest of my Z palettes. And um, I'm not really focusing on any of these other shades. Technically this black one isn't a project that I've been working on for years, but I don't ever touch that black eyeshadow. It's kind of a failed project pan for me, but um, none of these other shadows have any significance at this point but this is where I keep Halo from Luxie Beauty and I want to find a look and pan it that is a risky move to be focusing on an eyeshadow for the month of January as I'm just getting used to a new pan that palette and a new routine but if I don't just carve out time to to pan that eyeshadow it's never going to happen and um yeah I want to focus on this in January. So hopefully I can find a look that incorporates whatever my pan that palette's gonna be um, and I could pan it in, with this look. That's the goal. So those are gonna be my three focus products for the next month. I'm really excited that my numbers did not go up with this project. I would like to keep it at 24 and I'm cautiously optimistic that I will have another product finished by next month's update. So the numbers will not go up again next month, hopefully. We, we will see. But that is going to be it for this update, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.